pretty good. I guess I had to do that to the bottom of the magneto as well. Not too dirty, it's just a little oily. Breeze over it with this 180 grit. This work as well? I guess it will. Why not? So, something like that, and then that's the distance. Mm, I don't know. I think it'll work. I'm going to try it. It's the worst it can happen. Looks like they will take the bolt back out. Which I have to do already because I didn't put the fiber coupling in. It's gonna be one of those days. <laughs> Implying it wasn't one of those days already. Uh, okay. There we go. That already looks like I gotta loosen that fiber coupler, or not fiber coupling, the timing block on the camshaft extension. I believe that's half an inch. And not risk this wire here. Jeez. They might be rusted onto the camshaft extension. Light taps should be fine. Okay, moved it back a little bit more. Okay, now let's try these bolts from the bottom. Okay, that one's threading in. Amazingly. Yeah, it's relatively square, I guess. I don't know. Let's get these a little bit tighter and then try to square it up to the timing block. I don't know what that thing's called. Maybe I should look that up in the manual so I sound like I know what I'm talking about. Wyco. Looks like it's at home. Ooh, that was nice. Wasn't even tight. Mm. Hopefully that's why it wasn't fighting me on the compression stroke. It'd be great. Okay. Not the compression stroke. What we want is Compression stroke, get the top dead center. Right about there, it should snap right about here. Is what we want. So, I'm going to attempt to loosen that block even more, this one, and twist it until the magneto snaps right at this point. Alright, so I think it's around top dead center right now. You kind of try to loosely line that up there, but what I'm going to do is 
tighten this down and then give it a crank holding the uh, kill switch down to ground out the uh, coil for when it sparks and then uh, see just how close to top dead center it is when it uh, clicks and then in addition inside of this you have to have the 015 between this and that so Actually, let me go get my dial indicator from this. I think you can do that through the spark hole. Oh, but spark plug hole. Uh, I think that worked. It's, you know, it's not a great vantage point for the camera. Just gonna see it though. Let's see what happens here when we. Okay, cool. Yeah, that should work. So now this is approaching top dead center. Turn slowly and it goes up to about 28. Let me just push one of these things up to there, I guess. And there'll be some parallax. I won't be able to really see, but you know, whatever. That's okay. Well, it's locked down, so let's go ahead and go through. Okay, I think I've got it pretty good, so let's just see how it is this time. I've moved it since last time, so it's top dead centering at a different point on the dial indicator. Looks like it's 45-ish. Okay, bring it back around. Now, forty one. All right. It was at 44, and it's on its way back. 43, 43 and a half, basically. So, like a degree past. So, when you actually put a screwdriver or a dowel rod or something in there and do it, the thing that you put in there is not even moving when it, when it goes. So, I think you actually want it to click a little bit past top dead center. So, I'm going to call that good. And I'm going to go ahead and make some preparations for squirting some ether in this thing and seeing if it'll just pop off for us for a little bit. Alrighty, it's a good sign.